Okay, countdown. Half day, everyone. Nestor Leconto here. Thank you for joining us. Our guest today is the director of the Department of Labor, Labor, Mr. Dave Delasola. Half a day, Dave. Half a day. How are you doing, Nestor? I'm doing okay. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing fine. Thanks. Thank you. Appreciate your being here this morning. Uh, let me just start off. Um, Senator Regine Biscoli, who is your oversight chair, had uh, sent out a news release over the weekend um, indicating that the Guam Department of Labor would be applying for certain uh, unemployment insurance program. Can you tell us what that's about? It's the disaster, uh, Dislocated Worker Grant, and it initially came out as a Dislocated Worker Grant, and it was $100 million for uh, nationwide for everybody to compete against. But uh, we recently got a Teagle, which is an information advisory, which basically they're changing it to a recovery, temporary recovery uh, work grant. So uh, we're just putting on the final touches of it now. And basically what this grant will do if we uh, are awarded is to help with the recovery after the uh, uh, epidemic has uh, been uh, controlled. So we will be putting people into temporary work. And what we're gonna do is put them out to the quarantine sites to help clean up, help prepare meals, uh, help the schools, the hospitals, and uh, uh, the mayors all clean up the facilities and get them uh, ready for uh, use. So uh, this will help with these people to get uh, temporary uh, money and assistance and employment. Yeah, how, how do they go about getting more information? Who should they call? Well, at this time, there's nothing, no information coming out. We're waiting for the award and the release. All it is is just a grant application. So uh, as uh, Senator Regine mentioned, what we put together is the rapid response email address, and we encourage all employers and employees to uh, send in their information. And there's a template basically of uh, who they are or how many employees per uh, employer, how long they're out. So that way that data can be used to help validate our need in these grants. How many so it's very you, important. Yeah, how many um, employees do you estimate can uh, be accommodated by the, the program once it gets started? Well, this program, it will all depend, of course, on the dollar amount that we get. Uh, most of it will be a small, very small percentage will be in the administrative portion to make sure that uh, we get it organized, we get the applications in, we get the sites, how much workers, and get them out there. So, and then the balance of it will will be putting these people to work for depending on how long the recovery will take. So it all depends on how many, how much dollars we get awarded. But uh, I think and hope that it will be more than enough. And so um, that's has to do with that dislocated worker grant. And of course, we're waiting for the declaration by the president, which will activate our disaster unemployment assistance program, which will get dollars and money out to all those who've been laid off or furloughed. And that will be a weekly check uh, that'll be coming out. And that'll hopefully take care of all people that are laid off or furloughed. Yeah, can you elaborate on, on, on that program? How, did, how does that work? Because I think a lot of people would be very, very interested in, in those um, in that money coming in because, you know, obviously once they get laid off, um, that's the, the top priority for them. How are they going to put uh, food on the table for their families? Yes. Well, as we all know, and hopefully the, the, the nation is following, is what they're working on right now is the stimulus, Corona stimulus package, which will get a a check out to most of the people uh, nationwide. And shortly after that, or simultaneously, they're working on the disaster unemployment assistance program. And uh, the president has awarded, I think, uh, New York, California, and uh, Washington, their first uh, declarations. Uh, ours will be coming in shortly. And they are, we're using that as the litmus of how to write up our, our uh, our uh, declaration and using that first uh, really heavily.
but we to we already started the template we are starting the application and once that declaration comes in that'll give us information on what put in that application exactly but usually if we are awarded which i'm sure we will be it'll be a weekly uh check going out to all the people and it's based on 50 percent of weekly uh, uh of the island so estimate anywhere from 500 600 plus they will tell us what that amount will be weekly amount and that'll go out to everybody in the form of a check and uh we're we're getting our people together to uh, you know get ready because the applications will have to come in from each individual employee that have been affected and and will qualify that's part one and then the part two will be once this quarantine has been lifted and we're starting to reach some normalcy then we will take some of these people who are temporarily laid off and start to put them to work in helping recover at the facilities the hospitals the schools the quarantine sites manning uh the, the the airport all this stuff get cleaned up and back to normal and that's where our, our temporary uh, workers will go out working but all of this is still we have to see what the what dol writes into that uh dua uh, grant program assistance program and that'll tell us exactly what we can do and what we can't do okay do, do you have a sense of what the um the um, unemployment is now or the layoffs as a result of, um, you know, all, all the things that are going right on right now. It's, it's hard to qu uh, quantify. I mean, with the governor's uh, uh, quarantine notice that went out. So any non-essential business or activity is basically shut down and rightly so we need to stay home. We need to get this under control and the growth, uh, before we can start talking about, you know, receiving applications and, and meeting people and telling them what to do, we need to curtail this. So uh, the more people stay in and stay safe and uh, we get this, uh, these numbers under control, then we can start uh, to really get a sense. But we've already gotten well over 300 emails in that rapid response uh, address. That's rapid response at dol.guam.gov. Uh, send in all employees, employers, send in your information so that way we can ac accurately uh, track it. And then when an announcement comes out, we will send it not only to the media, but to all those respondents. They will uh, receive something from us so that we can move very quickly. All right. Hey, Dave, thank you very much. I'm, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of interest in um, any assistance that the Guam Department of Labor can provide. And, you know, we pray, as always, uh, that everyone is able to, you know, weather this um, this uh, pandemic and uh, uh, appreciate your time. Yeah, and everybody stay out there, monitor the media. Uh, we will be announcing and keeping you well informed of every step that we uh, when we learn and, you know, we get these assistance programs up and running. Uh, thank you. All right. Thank you. Take care, my friend. You too. All right. Uh, there you have it. That was uh, David Delasola, the uh, director of the Guam Department of Labor, uh, talking a little bit about uh, some of the uh, uh, employee assistance programs that will be coming up uh, from the uh, federal government. Uh, reporting for uh, Guam's News Network, Nestor LeConte reporting.